Hi, I wanted to show you guys how to use the glaze fountain uh, that I found from Sean Roberts at Forest Ceramic Company. Um, I put together uh, all the uh, material on an Amazon uh, list or store. And if you're interested in that, you can check that out in the link. Uh, but basically it's a really simple uh, process. You need to get a uh, water pump and I have a variable speed foot pedal actuator. Um, so this just turns the pump on and off by a foot pedal. Now you don't have to have that. Um, it's a really nice feature. So if you're not using it, it's not just continuously flowing. Um, the other thing you need to get is, I think this is a 15 inch stainless steel uh, mixing bowl. And I've drilled out the bottom and I cut it out so that the glaze uh, will fall through this. Uh, the male threaded adapter and it's a half inch um, PVC pipe that fits into that little connector. So once we plug it all in, it's pretty simple. You just turn it on and it sucks up the, uh, the glaze and then it shoots out this little fountain. And I'm going to put that together right now. So make sure that this little uh, part here is open all the way on the pump so it allows um, enough of the material to get into the pump so you have a nice flow. You can always adjust it if it's too too high or too, too low. So the first thing I do want to do is take my um, glaze and run it through a sieve just to make sure that there's no chunks. And you can do this in a smaller, I think this is a two and a half gallon or a five gallon uh, bucket. As long as there's enough glaze to fill above the pump, you should, uh, you should have a successful experience. So I'm gonna put this into the glaze and then you put your cutout mixing bowl on top. You plug the pump into the actuator or the foot pedal, and then you plug that into a power source. All right, now that it's all plugged in, let's give it a go and see what happens. So it's gonna take a little bit for the uh, material to go up and then shoot out the top. So I cut my PVC pipe um, just slightly above the mixing bowl. Uh, if it's any higher, there's a lot of splash, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, also, one word of caution, be careful after you've cut this, this is a sharp edge, you can file it down or sand it. Uh, but when I wipe everything down and I clean everything, I just use a sponge and I try to avoid this area with my fingers. Um, the glaze did come out pretty aggressive, which is good. It's raised up about three or four inches. So when I put my cup in there, I'm going to completely cover that uh, fountain area. Um, so I'm placing my cup over the fountain, running it for a couple seconds, and then letting those drip come off. So cleanup is pretty simple. You just take this piece off here and drain all the extra glaze off, stick it into a sink and wash it out. And then uh, the most important part is that you clean the, the pump. So I'll show you how you do that. And you don't wanna leave the pump and the glaze for a long period of time because you know how glaze settles. Um, it'll start building up in the pump. So you always want to have it uh, flowing every few minutes. So I'm actually going to take the PVC out and then I'm just going to run it inside of a clean water bucket to completely uh, clean it up. Now make sure that this whole pump is submerged in water as I'm running it.
And then I'm gonna rinse this out one more time and make sure that it runs clean so when I store it, it doesn't uh, leave any of the extra glaze there. All right, well, I hope, hope this was helpful. Uh, again, you can find all these parts on my Amazon store. Um, please check that out. And if you're uh, still running into any problems, uh, give me a holler. All right, thanks for watching.